Have you ever thought about how crazy it is that you can buy literally anything on Amazon? And I mean anything. A bike, a fire extinguisher, even a dead body. Don't worry, it's fake. I think. Well, seven days ago, I bought some of the weirdest things I could find on Amazon. And now today, we're gonna open up these packages and see what we got. Probably a bunch of useless weird junk, but I'm excited. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packages? I don't think I've ever had this many Amazon packages in my life. And I gotta be honest, I kinda forgot all the things that I ordered, so this is gonna be a surprise for the both of us. Who's ready to get weird? Just me or what? Obviously, if I'm gonna be opening these packages, I'm gonna need my handy dandy knife. What? Oh my, was that a good transition or? All right, enough effing around, let's do this. Which package do I wanna open first? Oh, I, I actually don't think I need a knife to open this, so um. Okay, moment of truth, what is inside? Oh, there, there's actually a couple things in here. And the very first item we got is this Astronaut food. All right, so it looks like this is an ice cream sandwich that was freeze dried. Well, I think we both know what this means. It's time for a food review. Whoa, okay. So um, it is in the typical packaging for an ice cream sandwich, but just um, listen to this. It kind of sounds like a rock. This is what we're working with. And not gonna lie, it kind of looks like ass. Wait, I, hang on, listen to this. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. No, uh-uh. <coughs> okay, so as far as the freeze-dried ice cream sandwich goes, it's a no from me. All right, but what else was in the package? All right, let me take a look, and it is another food item. All right, so the next thing I unfortunately ordered is cotton candy. Now, you may be wondering, okay, what's so bad about cotton candy? Well, this cotton candy is pickle-flavored. Like, I thought the ice cream sandwich was bad, but I can almost guarantee that this is going to be worse. This may just take years off of my life, so this is gonna be fun. All right, the lid is officially off, so let me do a little smell test. Ooh, ooh. I don't know what kind of pickles they've been eating, but that, <laughs> that does not smell like a pickle. Why does it smell spicy? Oh God, well, here we go. I've got my little chunk. Okay, well, this is for you guys. That was the most disgusting thing I've ever had. I feel like a little bad because I bought this entire container of cotton candy and now I will literally be throwing it away. The pickle cotton candy is a solid negative four out of 10. Don't go near this stuff. Okay, moving on. What package do I wanna open next? All right, we're gonna go with the box. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a good one. No, oh my God, <laughs> no. Well, you guys are Probably gonna love this. It is yet another food item. Although I don't know if you can call this food. All right, so it looks like there are two things in this box and the first one is giving me the heebie-jeebies. This is what I just found in the box. It is three separate boxes, three different flavors of crickets. What the hell is even that? Okay, so we got sour cream and onion crickets, bacon and cheese, and salt and vinegar. These are gonna be foul. Guys, please take a moment to look at what I'm about to put in my mouth. Oh goody, they come in a little bag. What the freak? Obviously, with all the food that I try, there's gotta be a smell test. Oh, oh my god. It like very lightly smells like sour cream and onion, but then it also smells like a pet store. I'm just, I'm just gonna do one, all right? That, that better appease you. Cause if you think I'm eating this whole thing, you are goddamn. Uh-oh, uh, -oh. uh, -oh. uh -oh. Ooh, why did I do that? Why did I do that? That was a traumatic experience. Salt and vinegar, mmm. This time, I'm just gonna try one because we saw what happened last time. Okay, well, cheers. It's actually not bad. Initially, when it hits your tongue, it did taste like a salt and vinegar chip. And then you get the, the cricket taste. Of course, I had to save the bacon and cheese for last because that sounds the most disgusting. I don't know how well you can see this on camera, but I can literally see the cheese on it. You know, when it comes to my food, I really don't want it to be looking back at me. And this thing has two big black eyes and it's, uh, it's freaking me out, guys. Okay, okay, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, get it over with. Okay, three, two, one, cheers. 
Et non. Un, 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 un. <sighs> okay, those crickets just gave me the full body heebie-jeebies. Also, you may not want to look in this box. Um, just trust me. All right, so this was also in the box, and I have no clue what this is. Let's just pop her open here. What are we... Oh, okay. I forgot about this. All right, so at first glance, you may not have a single clue what these are. Now, I don't know if you can tell, but this is the handle to a samurai sword. But Jerry, where's the blade to the sword? <laughs> Check this out. Oh my God, it actually worked. Oh my God, that's sick. I was kind of worried that it was just not gonna work and it was gonna be a piece of shit. But it actually worked. Oh my God, I'm so excited. And lucky for me, I also got it in pink, baby. Oh, yeah. So let's just say I'm minding my business and someone comes up and demands my lunch money? I don't think so. This product is Jerry approved. And I'm pretty sure these were relatively cheap on Amazon. I feel like they were maybe five bucks. Let's go with this big one, shall we? All right, moment of truth, what's inside? Okay, oh my, guys, um, you will be so happy to know that it is another food product. This is, this is just great. Now there are actually a couple things in this package, but the first one that is on top is fried chicken candy. Yeah, this is, this just ruined my day. I may have thought the cotton candy was bad and the crickets were worse, but this, this is just an abomination. All right, pop the top and this is what's inside. All right, so this is what we're working with. Smell test. It, it smells like chicken. Ew, it kind of smells like dog food, if I'm being honest. It does not smell like KFC. I will tell you that. All right, um, this one is dedicated to you. <laughs> There's no way I can eat that. Just having that in my mouth for those three seconds, I'm scarred for life. I gotta tell you, it really does taste like chicken, but like chicken that was cooked maybe like, I don't know, 50 years ago. Thank goodness that's over, so now we can see what else is in this package. Oh my God. This genuinely looks like what nightmares are made of. You may think I'm kidding, but I'm not. So, uh, this is the most interesting looking toy doll thing that I could find on Amazon, and it is known as a fuggler. That sounds inappropriate. Now, on the package, it does say, warning, attention, open with caution. Yeah, and from the look on this thing's face, I can see why. The human teeth are freaking me out. I low-key think this thing may try to bite me. All right, let's open her up. Oh. Oh. Oh, guys, I am almost certain that this thing is haunted. Look at its eyes and the teeth. Oh my God, the teeth just look so real. Can you hear that? The teeth are hard. They feel like real teeth. I don't even feel right holding this thing. I mean, look at it. Oh my, wait, what's on its ass? On its butt, it's got a little button that says Fuggler. I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. If this thing is going to stay in my apartment, then it is gonna have to be locked up somewhere. Because I have a feeling if I just left this sitting on the counter, it would kill me in my sleep. Yeah, I'm sure that's not true, right? <laughs> Moving on, we have approximately five packages left. Ooh, okay, this one got a little bit of weight to it. And what do we got inside? What the hell is this? Um, so whatever it is, it came in this box. Let's just open her, oh my god. Okay, I, I completely forgot I ordered this, and now that I'm looking at it, I kind of feel bad. It is a real bat, like frozen in plastic. Look at that. I mean, it's actually kind of cool. I feel bad for the little guy. I mean, it's kind of cool, but just like the last item, um, it may be haunted. The ghost of this bat may just end up haunting this room? Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking when I bought this. I don't want this in my house. Ooh, when you look at it from the side, it's kind of flat. Okay, get this away from me. All right, now this one's also got some weight to it. Just from feeling the package, I think I know what's in here. You guys ain't ready for this. Oh yeah, baby. Check that out. It is fish slippers. So for everyone that thought my Crocs were bad, well, these are so much worse. Man, let's open this up. Ooh, they smell like really strong plastic. Check these puppies out. Oh my God, these are fresh. Man, every time that I go to the pool this summer, I'm gonna have these on. All right, let's see how these bad boys fit. Ooh, not gonna lie, they're a little hard to get on. Um, check that out. Man, these go astronomical hard. Guys, come on, take a look at my cotties. Uh, Ugh. 
that tasted like pickled crickets. I'm gonna keep it real. Um, they are not comfortable in the slightest. But with shoes that look like this, I don't give a damn. Now who is my next victim? You're coming with me. Okay, we got a nice light package and I have a feeling I know what's inside of this one as well. Yes, I know exactly what this is. That is just perfect timing. First I get the cotties, the fish slippers, and now this. You guys ain't ready for this. Check that out. I got that dog in me, baby. It is the Costco hot dog. Look at that. I got that dog in me. Roof, if you will. The $1.50 hot dog from Costco. I had to get a shirt about it. And you can't tell me that hot dog don't look delicious. Well, all right, we're down to the final two packages. Oh, okay, this is another heavy one. Okay, what is this? Oh my, <laughs> I forgot about this. You may want to sit down before you see what's in this box. Look at that. <laughs> What the hell is that? Um, so this is supposed to be one of those blobfish that are kind of ugly. No offense. <laughs> um, from the picture on Amazon, I'm not gonna lie, I thought it would be, um, I don't know, bigger than this? Ew, it feels concerningly fleshy. It's kind of giving me like a Squidward vibe. Look at the eyes. Honestly, this thing has the same eyes as the crickets. I mean, it's kind of cute if you like close one eye and then also close the other one. But now I need to find out if it'll stick to the wall. It almost did. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. This is that big rubber squishy monkey toy that has been all over TikTok. <laughs> Link in bio. Dude, oh my God. <laughs> oh, it's a baby monkey. So this is definitely a lot smaller than I was expecting. I mean, he is kind of cute though. The one question I have is, um, why does he have a little butt crack? Oh yeah, no, that's nice. Look at that. Oh, that's fun. Oh, um, guys, I think I might have hurt my monkey. Yeah, so I kind of thought it would like, I don't know, go back to its original shape, but this is um, this is kind of disturbing. Now this thing was definitely worth the money. And we are officially down to the very last box. All right, what do we go? Oh no. Okay, um, I forgot I ordered this. The edible items continue. Great. So this is a variety pack of soda that are all gross. Um, these are like legit glass bottles of soda, so let's crack them out and see what we got. Buffalo wing soda. Peanut butter and jelly soda. Bacon soda. Pumpkin pie soda. Ranch soda. And last but not least, sweet corn soda. Well, all right, uh, bone apple teat. We're gonna start strong with the buffalo wing soda. This looks like something the fuggler would drink. Is this a twist off? Ow, my... Ow, ow, I don't think I have a bottle opener. All right, I had to Google it, but it said I can use tongs to open this bottle. So let's just hope this works. All right, I found a video that told me to use this part of a door to open the bottle cap. All right, I'm kind of scared, please don't break. Oh my God, it worked. And we're back. Hey, sorry about that. But all right, time for a taste test and I am terrified. Cheers. It's not terrible, hang on. You know, I wouldn't say it tastes like buffalo wings. Ooh, honestly, it kinda just tastes like spicy orange soda. The next one we're trying is the peanut butter and jelly soda. Cheers. Ooh, ooh, okay, I do get the peanut butter and jelly taste and it is not good. Ugh, ooh, that is just weird. But next we're gonna be trying the pumpkin pie soda. Cheers. Ooh, okay, one, one more sip. Man, that is weird. I legitimately feel like I just took a bite of pumpkin pie. This one's taste is spot on with pumpkin pie. It is bizarre. But would I recommend you guys to drink this? <laughs> Absolutely not. I don't know if you can see that. My hand is covered in sweet corn soda. Oh my God. Okay, that is the most accurate smell of sweet corn I've ever smelt. Cheers. Oh, 
That is straight up insidious. That just knocked my socks off. That is so weird and bizarre. To have a liquid enter your mouth, but it tastes like corn? I am, um, I'm a little fascinated though. We'll give it one more go. It's just freaking me out. The fact that this soda tastes like I'm chowing down on a cob. Next, we got ranch dressing soda. Oh, I feel the burps coming. Right. Why did that taste like corn? To say I'm excited for this would be an overstatement. Cheers. Oh my God. That is the most foul thing I have ever tasted. Get this away from me. If I was given the option to drink this or eat all three boxes of the crickets, I am taking the crickets. That I am getting rid of this right now. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's so funny. I love when the soda freaking explodes all over me and the wall in my pants. Last but not least, we got the bacon soda. I intentionally save this for last because this, this is definitely going to be the grossest one. Cheers. Oh my god, why do they make this? Ooh, it just tastes like bacon and chemicals and fungus. I don't know who invented this, but you're a bitch. Well, I don't have a terrible taste in my mouth, my hand is super sticky, and my room looks like this. Great, I may have made a whoopsie in here. Anyway, I might have blew a bag to buy all this Amazon stuff, so if you want to subscribe, um, please do.